I got you, fam! That's quite big. Impressive. Here we go again. I never thought I'd resort to using a computer to try and find love, cause that stuff's just for losers. But there must be others like me who simply work a lot, and it's too busy to meet people, so I guess it's worth a shot. Okay, let's pick a username. Something amusing that conveys my sense of humor and is guaranteed to woo the babes. Hmm, everything I choose is lame. I use my first name and birthday, I bet no one else will be the same. Now it's time to find a profile fit. Something tasty that the ladies won't be able to resist. I'll take one from Facebook. Actually, wait, unconscious with a knob on my face isn't a great look. Finally, I fill out my profile creatively. How often do you drink? Uh, occasionally. Do you smoke? <clears throat> yeah, but not regularly, though. A few more tweaks, hit save, and I'm ready to go. If I did someone become such a harsh I've had enough of our calls and dance floors. All I'm after is a partner who can make me cry with laughter when he looks like Mrs. Carter. Is that too much to ask for? When if I did someone become such a hard chore, I've had enough of our calls and dance floors. All I'm after is a partner who can make me cry with laughter when he looks like Mrs. Carter. Is that too much to ask for? Now I'm browsing through profiles to take a peek, and the results. 
these are underwhelming to say the least. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but if these are their best photos, then how bad are the others? I pick a few that look promising or at first it seems, but as I read on, I notice some reoccurring themes. A lot of similar pictures and words arise, so as I dig deeper, I start reading between the lines. If she says that she's bubbly, don't be fooled or misled, because that's code for not the sharpest tool in the shed. And if she says that she's curvy, that generally means that when she sees vending machines, she empties and cleans. And with their photos, I also notice a couple things. Camera angles designed to hide their double chins. I know that the camera never tells lies, but I beg to differ if they're ever held high. When defining someone becomes such a hard chore, I've had enough of our crawls and dance floors. All I'm after is a partner who can make me cry with laughter and who looks like Mrs. Carter. Is that too much to ask for? When defining someone becomes such a hard chore, I've had enough of our crawls and dance floors. All I'm after is a partner who can make me cry with laughter and who looks like Mrs. Carter. Is that too much to ask for? I get a notification, and for a moment, I'm filled with hope and elation. Cause this could be the most important message I've ever got to be. I take a deep breath and open it. Hey, hun, how are you? I send out a few, but get no responses back. I'm back to jack it in when someone new wants to chat. She's into movies, music, and cookery too. But she's a looker to boot. This is too good to be true. Over the coming weeks, we correspond regularly. I can't believe it. It feels like it was meant to be. Eventually, we agree to meet in person. It's the first time in ages I've actually felt nervous. I'd love to tell you that the story ended happily But that rarely ever happens in reality Let's just say that pictures When defining someone becomes such a hard chore I've had enough of our crawls and dance floors All I'm after is a partner who can make me cry with laughter When you looks like Mrs. Carter Is that too much to ask for? When defining someone becomes such a hard chore I've had enough of our crawls and dance floors All I'm after is a partner who can make me cry with laughter When you looks like Mrs. Carter And it's just a nice. at home with a glass of carver or a lager Who's smart enough to graduate from Harvard with a master's Who isn't into drama With breasts like Dolly Parton and preferably a rich father Is that too much to ask for? Well, is it? I don't think so. I mean, all that stuff's just standard, right? Okay, okay. Maybe she doesn't have to be a dancer, but everything else is essential. Okay, she doesn't have to have an actual master's degree from Harvard, but she's got to be smart. And, you know, the rich Everything else is yeah. non-negotiable, apart from the Lago and Carver thing, and the Beyonce thing, obviously. But anything else is a deal breaker. I mean, <laughs> what, what's even left after that, you know? But I'm not trying to be a dick, but I've, I've just got high standards, and, and I know what I'm looking for, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Funny and boobs, yeah. <laughs>